So today on Stoffer Garage, guys, we have this Chevy Silverado 1500 that needs a complete deep clean of the interior. We're going to be pulling it completely apart. I'm going to show you guys all the steps and processes that I use to make these interiors look like new again. So if you are new, hit that subscribe button down below so that way you don't miss out on any new videos. Give this one a thumbs up. Let's get started. With those seats removed, this is where you get to see all the goodies underneath. And in this one in particular, there's a lot of food, dog hair, debris, typical dirt and grime. Um, but it's always fun when you find bullets or something cool in particular. So for this one, I found a few rounds. Um, they were all alive. They weren't just shells. Um, but that's always one of the fun parts about when you pull these seats, the different things that you find. Now, if you guys haven't already, foxclean.com, I've been doing a Black Friday sale for 35% off. Tomorrow is one of the last days. The sale ends on the 30th to get that discount code. But also, once December starts, I'm going to be having a huge announcement of Mint Shine Sprays will be launching, and there's going to be limited supply up front. And I need you guys to make sure that you're on that mailing list because you'll be the first to know when it goes live to make sure you guys can pick those sprays up. All the sprays and different things that I use in my videos will be live on Fox Clean, so that way you can pick them up, use those products as well, and I promise you they will not disappoint. They are amazing. And once they sell out, they will be sold out until they can get replenished. So make sure you're on that mailing list to know when they're in stock or back in stock for that matter. And I'll make sure I have pre-orders and stuff going up as soon as they do go out. So that way you guys can make sure you can pick them up for holiday gifts and also just for yourselves from a detailing perspective. I promise you they are worth making sure you're on that list. Now for this car in particular, the vacuuming stage took a long time. I did pull up all of the different door trims, pulled off the seat belts that molt, bolt onto the, uh, the door frame there. Um, vacuuming does take a longer bit of time for me in particular because the more that I can extract with the vacuum, the less my extractor has to do. Plus you just get all that debris out of the way because even when you extract, you can get extra dirt flinging out of the carpet. So I try to take a little bit extra time during this stage, get all the dog hair out, get all the dirt out of every corner, you know, make sure I agitate the carpet to kind of create a little bit of a static charge to help lift that dirt to the surface to make the whole process one more thorough, but also easier in the end. Now, since this truck did have a few rounds inside of it, it kind of is appropriate for this detail in particular. I want you guys to comment down below if you're into shooting, if you own weapons, whatever you guys do, let me know in the comments below. For instance, I have several guns. I've recently got into um, sporting clays. Sporting clays is actually a lot of fun. If you've never done it, definitely check it out if you're into shooting firearms. Um, like I said, I have several myself, from pistols to rifles to shotguns. Um, they're a lot of fun, especially if they're handled safely. And it's one of the best things about being an American, for instance, is just the Second Amendment ability to be a firearm owner. Um, but yeah, I love guns. I think they're a lot of fun, especially when they're used appropriately. Um, but yeah, sporting clays is definitely one of my new favorite pastimes. Um, definitely putting the golf clubs up for a while while I uh, enjoy sporting clays. So let me know in the comments below.
Now for this interior in particular, the Fox Clean Pet Detailing Brush, the Foxtail, has come in handy a ton to get into all these little nooks and crannies, especially with all these different edges and grooves and different angles of this carpet uh, interior. Um, but if you're looking for those, they are available on Fox Clean. They are on pre-order as of today, but they will be back in stock this coming up week. I do have a lot more coming in because you guys have been buying them like crazy. So if you are looking for one, I promise you they will be back in stock very, very soon, and they will be able to be delivered by Christmas time, and they do ship internationally if you have that option as well. So uh, make sure you pick them up. They do kick butt at removing dog hair. I've never used a tool that does a better job, and that's why I carry them in particular. So if you're looking for a pet hairbrush, or if you have friends or family with pet hair in their cars or are pet owners, they make great gifts. So make sure you check them out after this video.
Now in the last several videos, I've been doing the farm trucks, which are rather dirty. They get super, super dusty rolling through the fields and they get into all the air vents. And I was extremely happy with this one just being a dealership vehicle in particular. It didn't have as much dirt and grime inside the air vents. Um, that is one of the hardest things to get clean. If you have a super dusty car and you've ever cleaned one, you can understand it just gets into every single spot of the car and it's really hard to get it completely clean because you could take the whole thing apart and go individual piece by piece and you'll still miss spots whereas with just a typical dirty car it makes your life a lot easier as a detailer to get into those spots to make sure it does look super clean for the owner. And if you guys have been following for a while now, you know that I've been using my DIY extractor and I'm still super happy with how it's working out. Um, I probably will get a Mighty eventually, but for the meantime, I've just been super happy with how this setup has been working out, especially with a five gallon holding tank in the shop vac I use. Um, I will be showing the build kit on how to build one if you're interested very soon. I just haven't had the chance to film it yet and go to the store to show you all the pieces and parts. Um, but yeah, I've just been super happy with it, so I haven't switched over yet and spent the coin to get a Mighty. Um, but for right now, this thing has been rocking it and definitely taking care of any job I've thrown at it so far.
And here's the case in point to where I was talking about earlier about how well this thing works. Um, the only hard part is, is obviously sometimes I drop this cap in the bucket, but I mean, it just holds so much fluid and you can see how dirty this water is that's coming out of this extractor. Um, this is really, really nasty stuff. Honestly, with these seats, I was happy with how they turned out. I was a little bit surprised that they didn't really color change as much as I thought they would based on how much dirt was in them. Um, they just got a little bit darker in color, but beyond that, you can see how much dirt was removed in the extractor head as I slow it down in a couple of these clips here. Um, but yeah, the seats definitely turned out nicer. Um, I usually like when they color change a little bit more, but for these ones in particular, it just didn't happen that way. But I do know that I got all the dirt out of them and that's really the main point.
I've been asked recently, what is one of the trickier components to clean inside of a vehicle? And for me, sometimes it's these center consoles in these trucks because you clean the center console part, you clean the cup holders, and then you go clean the seat or clean the rails and you just, you get fluid all over and cross contaminate, if you will, where you clean a portion and then it gets dirty again or gets wet again and you have to wipe it down again. It just, these are one of the more complicated sections in my opinion to get clean because you just have to do a little repeat work. Um, but yeah, this is, this is definitely one of the harder components in a vehicle to clean in my opinion. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving that celebrated and if you guys are new and you haven't subscribed, these videos come out every single Sunday for you so that way you can get your detailing fix, learn some new tips, learn some new tricks so that way you can become a better detailer and taking care of your own vehicle. And with that being said, make sure you subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys next week.